Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our Lion Server series. This will probably be one of the last ones we do on Lion Server because Apple has just released Mountain Lion. But I wanted to cover the concept of mobile accounts just so that you got an idea of how to set up this mobility setting so that your users can use their data when they're outside your network. If you remember uh, back in our series that we did on setting up uh, home folders on the server, we talked about how users can then log into any computer on your network and they can get access to their home folders and uh, use them that way. Uh, but there's a problem happens when you want to take your laptop, let's say, outside your home network. Now you don't have access to your home folders, and so you can still work off your laptop outside the home network, but anything you do there now becomes out of sync with what you have on your server. And so that can create problems if you've got people that are uh, mobile in using their computers. So this is where the whole mobility settings come into play and mobile accounts come into play. It allows you to set it up in such a way that you're going to be syncing uh, what's on the laptop with what's on your server. And once those things sync, that way when you leave the network, you have all your data uh, accessible there. When you make changes out there and come back into your home network, it'll sync back to the server so that everything stays uh, interconnected and everything is, is the way that it needs to be. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. Now there's two ways to do it. You can do it through Profile Manager, as we've talked about before. You can do it through Workgroup Manager. Now from what everything that I've seen, uh, Profile Manager doesn't work so good. There's some bugs in that, uh, and there are limited success. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it seems to work best in Workgroup Manager under Lion Server. So we're going to do it from Workgroup Manager itself. Now to get Workgroup Manager, that's an add-on with the server admin tools, and so you would need to go to Apple site uh, to, the, to a link that I'll put here uh, in the screen and uh, download the server admin tools, and Workgroup Manager comes along with it. So you want to have that accessible and ready to go. So when you launch Workgroup Manager, this is what you see right here. And you'll notice you've got uh, all of your users over here on the side that you've got set up, your user accounts. Uh, you've also got your groups. Uh, and then any computers and computer groups that you set up, uh, those may or may not be there. Sometimes it doesn't work so well uh, in communicating with Profile Manager, so you probably may have to set those up manually if you want to use Workgroup Manager. But for managing your computers, I'd say you're fine. Just leave it the way it is. Let me go back to my users here for a second. Now, you'll notice on the the top we've got accounts preferences uh, we can refresh new windows search you can also launch server admin itself from right here um, you notice for the users it gives you a little bit more information uh, you can set privileges for your users if they can be administrators or not you have advanced uh, settings that you can do uh, you've got groups so all the groups the individuals in you've got your home folder and this is the area you want to check and see it's the home folder on the server which we have that set up because we did that in our previous screencast and then any other info about the individual you can put more detailed information here if you'd like to do that now if I'm gonna make any changes at all to uh, this uh, person I've got a right now I'm just viewing the directory non-authenticated which means that I don't have uh, administrative privileges to make changes so what I need to do is click this little lock button right here and it's going to ask me to log in with my credentials and so these are the administrative credentials that you set up originally these are not the um, regular uh, credentials that you set up when you log yourself in. These are the ones that you set up when you said, hey, when I set up my open directory, I use these kind of administrative uh, uh, settings. Some people, you know, for some people it's DR admin or they changed it, but when you did the setup, you put that in. And you'll notice that now that I've logged in, I have the ability to change. Everything's not grayed out anymore. I can make changes. So now, for, uh, for this person here, I want to allow them to have uh, mobile accounts. So I want to go up to the top to preferences. And you'll notice all these different preferences I can set. These are the same things I can do in um, Profile Manager. But what I'm interested in here is the mobility setting. Now once I'm in the mobility setting, uh, you'll see here that there's three tabs across the uh, top. We have Account Creation, Account Expiry, and Rules. Now, the Account Creation tab here allows me to set up an account where I can create it. And you'll notice I can manage it never or always. <clears throat> and what this allows me to do is to set up a new account if I haven't set one up yet. So I can create the mobile account when they log into the network, require confirmations, all those kinds of things. And then I've got options that I can use to manage it. I can encrypt the contents with a file vault. I can restrict the size, set up the volume, all those kinds of things. Now, for me, I don't need to create an account. I've already got an account on the home f uh, folder on my, net on my uh, server. So I don't need this particular one for what I'm doing today. So I'm just going to leave that alone. That's more if you want to manage it uh, for the first time. I also have account expiry. 
Again, same ability to manage, never once or always. And you'll notice here, I can delete mobile accounts after a certain period of time. And I can delete only after a successful sync. And this is more of a temporary setup. If you've got someone who's going to use this on a temporary basis, you don't want to have it all of the time, it gives you the ability to set up these temporary accounts and manage them that way. Again, for what I'm trying to do, this isn't a tab that I want. I need to change, so I'm just going to leave that on never. Then you've got the Rules tab, and this is where I really want to focus, because here is where I'm going to set up the rules for how the sync's going to happen. You'll notice I have a Preference Sync, a Home Sync, and Options. Now, the Preference Sync allows me to sync all of the preferences that the user has and the different things that they've set up on their preferences. And I can set up what I want to, what I want preferences I want to have uh, kept. I can skip certain items down here, and I can choose to merge the user settings. Now, for me, uh, I don't want to sync the preferences at this time because uh, their preferences are set on their machine. I'm not really concerned that those things stay in sync when they leave or not because they'll be using the machine when they leave. So I'm going to skip that one. What I'm interested in, though, is the home sync, because I want to sync the home folders and all of their documents with my server to make sure that those things are the same, whether they're here or not, whether they take the laptop outside the network or in the network. I want to make sure that those things are in sync. But what I'm going to do to manage it, I'm going to manage it once so that it's set up once through the way that I'm setting it up to manage, and then after that, they'll be able, it'll, it'll take on a life of itself, and they can manage it even themselves manually if they want to. So I can choose how it syncs. So I'm going to set up that it syncs at login, so that if they've used it outside the network, when they come in, anything new will sync to the server. At logout, so that when they log out of the computer, it's going to sync any changes they made while they were in that session to make sure that the, uh, that the accounts are in sync with the server. That it'll sync in the background, so there's nothing distracting happening. It'll just you know continue to, to churn and, and make it happen so they can continue to work and they're not distracted. And then they'll be able to sync it manually, where they can trigger a sync themselves if they want to do it. Again, it's got the root uh, tilde here, so that means all the, the user's home folder is going to be sunk. That's fine. If I wanted to add anything else, I could do that. I could even browse to things that I want to add, but I'm going to leave that alone. And the items that it says it wants to skip, I'm just going to leave the defaults on that because there's no uh, reason to change it. Now, you can also set it to merge with the user's settings, but I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. I don't, I don't want it to merge. I just want it to stay the same. I'm really only syncing the, the home folders anyway, so I don't need to complicate things with two different sets of data. Now, once I've got this set, then I want to go up to the options. And in the options, I want to manage this once so that what happens, it'll sync every, five, every 20 minutes in the background, all right, so that I'm, I'm triggering syncs. And I want to, this is important, show status in menu bar because it'll allow the person to easily then trigger syncs when they want to do it. When I'm done with these rules and they're all set up, I click apply now so that everything's set. And then I click done. And you'll notice when I'm done, there's a little mobility, the little arrow here next to the mobility area to show that this is a managed preference. So now what I want to do is I want to show you what it looks like on the client side uh, once we've made these changes and show you how it works for the mobile accounts. All right, here I am over on the client screen. I'm doing a screen share so we can see how it looks on that end. And you can see I'm on the desktop here, but one of the things I want you to see is up on the top here on the menu bar, you can see these two homes together. If you remember back in the uh, preferences we set in Workgroup Manager, we said to show the menu bar item, and this is what caused this to show. And if I click that, you'll notice it just tells us if it's ever been synced before, which we haven't done a home sync yet because we haven't started that. Uh, there's the Sync Home Now button, which is great out because again we're managing the the first sync that we talked about before when we set up things in workgroup manager and then you've got a mobile account preferences so let me just click that and what it's going to do is take me into system preferences and drop me right into the account screen so just like the normal account screen you see everything the same here if we're going to make changes we need to authenticate and undo the lock so I'm going to do that real quick here uh, so that we can get at the information once we do that, it opens everything up. And you'll notice we've got a new area here that says Mobile Account, and it's got the button Create. So what we're going to do is hit that button there to create this mobile account. Now you can see we've got this nice uh, setup area here where we're going to set up the mobile account on the client machine. Now you, as I said before, you could have managed some of these things over in Workgroup Manager, but I wanted to show you what it looks like on this side because for home users, this is probably how you're going to want to set it up because you don't have as many uh, computers. So you want to save the home folder where, right? And it says you can do it on the startup disk or any other disk that you have. Obviously, we only have one drive in this computer, so we're going to use the startup disk. You can use File Vault again to encrypt it. 
I don't want to encrypt it. I don't care. There's not too much there to worry about. It slows down the computer, so I'm going to uncheck that. Again, you can see our initial settings. Sync every 20 minutes at login, at logout, and we want to sync the home folder. Now you can also say I only want to sync these selected folders, but I'm going to say the home folder. All right, show status and menu bar. We're ready to go. I just click this create button. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And so it says now it's create a mobile account. And it says click create to log out and create a local home folder that stays in sync with your network home folder. Then you can log into your computer even when it's off the network. So it tells me what to do. I click create. And now what it's going to do is it's going to log off. Now it's asking me to enter the password to create the mobile account. So let me do that real quick. Oh, incorrect password. It's got to be the password of the person that whose computer is creating it. Okay instead of your administrator and so now what it's going to do is it's going to log out and it's going to create this account and you can see it's starting the home sync status it's checking the different folders and everything and what it's going to do now is set it up so that everything is in sync so I'm going to let this run and we'll come back when it's done and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side okay once the uh, the accounts created the mobile account is done you can see here that it takes me to the login screen I've got my account it designates it as mobile so I'm going to log in uh, under this account and see what we have here and you'll see that as I log in it's gonna log him in you can see that it's starting the home sync status because if you remember we set it up to say sync on login so it's going to go through its sync again to make sure that everything is okay, that nothing's changed, and then it will load us onto the desktop, and then we're ready to go. And once, it, uh, once it's done doing its checking to make sure that everything's okay and gets us on the desktop, I'll show you what that looks like uh, when it's done. All right, now that it's done syncing, it's put us back on the uh, main screen here. You can see I've got our two little houses up here again, and if I click on those, you can see that it tells me when it was last synced, and it also tells me that I can sync the home folders now if I want to, and I can click that button, and it'll make a sync happen. So there you have it. That's uh, setting up mobile accounts on uh, Lion Server. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.